starting point guard in this postseason. Yvonne Turner joins her. Diana Taurasi and Brittany Griner joined in the front court by Camille Little, who also fouled out in game. Bumake on the perimeter, keeping Griner out of the lane where she's so effective defensively. Gray forced it up short. Parker collects. Tried to put it up and for now, but they whether or not Parker got it off before the shot clock expired to the naked eye, it seemed late. Here's Little got hit by Parker. Plus Little to be an offense. Jump hook. No, how about Beard Sky for the rebound? Another chance for LA. Gray motoring in. Got it. That first foul on LA on the little bucket is Tarasi misses to a Gumake, but it seemed like it was clearly Parker and her team in that game one. As Griner fades away, can't hit Turner there to collect it and swivel it on a Gumake. But wasn't it Parker who hit Camille Little on that layup? I felt so, yeah. Oh, what a great sign for the Phoenix Mercury. Total of six points. Here's Parker, the quick spin. Follows it up and gets it to go. Second one for essentially four quarters. Here's Turner on the spin, got hooked and banks it in. Plus the foul. Minor no call. Tarasi lays it in. ESPN 2 to Long Beach. And from three this season. And those are the shots Phoenix wants them to take. They're going behind all of the screens on pick and roll. Reiner right to the rim. It feels like a, would you call it a half slate? Half slate, yeah, all like right. a half rack of ribs. <laughs> Great rebound for Lavender. They're so active right now on the offense. Parker looking to work Cannon, a physical defender. Parker backing her down to the left hand. Parker triggering the break. Good touch pass to Williams. Off on a three, another rebound for Parker. Bucket crashing the glass here. They're taking the shots at times that Phoenix wants them to, those mid-range jumpers, but LA, great job getting to the glass. Sims, pure away. One quarter in WNBA playoff history. Tarazi bangs it in, plus the foul. Watching Odyssey Sims flex going up. A couple of times in the first quarter, Parker actually should have two and Agumage should have one, but there was an erroneous. After Elena was called for her third foul and they were shooting free throws, she ran over here to the bench like she was going to come out of the game. And Brian said, what are you doing? You're staying in. He does have that trust in her. He was not taking her out. Meanwhile, Candace is the rebound. No look from Gray, Agumake slides in. So far, Eliner and they haven't been able to do that effectively so far in the first half. Tarasi being guarded by Beard, who has three fouls. Tarasi in this first half. He had six all of game one, and now Mitchell comes up with a steal off the deflection from Diana. And Mitchell barrels in of Candace Parker. Out beautifully by Agumake. Sims jerks left, kicks out, Parker takes, and hits. How good is she when she is fit? Now Sims the other way, and Phoenix was back. Gray looking for space, instead finds a Gumake. If you're open on... Six to shoot, Tarasi puts it in. Corner, Sims will fire. A Gumake fingertips it to herself. Agumake gets it back and puts it home. The first, they're all hanging on the perimeter. Little at it, poked away by Sims, who's had an active first half. Now flashing into the front court, lays it home. Sims, good pocket pass, and Agumake. All three is available for LA to take. Ray 0 for 3 from 3. Here's Turner. He, she got it. That was a lot. Eight of 18. Agumake. What use of the glass? And nothing. She might have just caught Brittany in a in a really delicate. Will control for Phoenix in a five-point game. Reiner, good touch inside, and she puts it home. Well, the Brittany Griner on the block. Advantage and second chance points in the first half. Parker draws two, flings a pass out of it. Sims lays it in. Creeper. Kind of a little tight after our jog this morning. <laughs> Parker banks it in, plus the foul. The window. Candace. 
after rolling her ankle in pregame warm-ups. Beard comes up with a block. Tarasi gets it back and puts it in. Down the other end. Here's Gray, cradles, flips, hits. And Here in this third as Sims gets denied by Griner. How about another chance? No. And Griner corrects the rebound, then throws it away. Agumake threads the needle to 11. In. Here comes Gray, free lane, kicks it out. Carson will take and hit. Angel Robinson connects. Phoenix needs his other play on that possession. Robinson had Parker, so she was the one who wasn't in rebounding position. Ooh, Tarasi takes a spill after the foul on Carson. He, trying to cut through traffic, lost it. Gray dishes ahead. Sims, oh, what a dish from Gray. 13 turnovers now for Phoenix as Gray got hit and banks it in. Plus, just bouncing off of Danielle Ryan. Five Eastern on ESPN. As Griner gets a deep catch that time and puts it down. You speak like you know this from experience. Yeah, and mine don't come close to 7 three and a half. But you know what? 7 three and a half wingspan is good. He's on her shot. That's not a three tonight. Mitchell found space and puts it down. Timeout, Brian Agler now. Final possession of this quarter. Griner gets the touch, the turn, the hook is good. Game two, game three will be Sunday in Phoenix. Robinson puts it home and forced a league high 16 and a half turnovers per game this season. In the corner, Agumake with a big three. Dribble penetrating kick. Parker, who has 24 and 12 to go with five assists. Beard slides in and banks it home. Base off a of dribble penetration. Mitchell, great crossover through two and then bank. Gray uses the screen. This continues to go. Eagle screen felt like Obumake was moving. Yes, yeah, she was. But I'd rather them not call it than get into a foul fest again. And Diana Tar Tarasi. And a difficult look there that she stuck the landing on. That's going to be an offensive foul. No, no whistle as Sims. Sims takes a little hit. So they have how many good defenders? And Phoenix turning the basketball over time after time in this game. And it's just short. And now Mitchell trying to blast forward. Parker back right with her. But Mitchell somehow. Second time this. Bonnie Mitchell. In the corner, great movement, Gray. She got it. Brian Agler talking about. Sims banks it in. Agumake came for the steal, but the deflection ends up as fruit for Griner. <laughs> I don't know if I appreciate that. Agumake has it knocked away, Turner. With great energy as she zips forward. Hi! Candace Parker a few times has been back. Has completely wrestled control. Gray. Another. Every time, and that's meaning in the fourth. Little with space. Got it. Mitchell turns the corner, got tripped, lays it in. And it's a set. Gray putting it on the deck. Slides it to Beard, who will lay it in. Look at the diversity from the LA Sparks. All five starters mix right now on the floor. Tarasi trying to find space across her body. Can't finish, loose ball. Here comes LA. Agumake gets hugged. Doesn't matter. She the dagger from Neko for Sims. 24 for Parker. Rebound LA and we'll see it. Frenetic, frenetic defense, too much for Phoenix to handle. And the defending champion LA Sparks are a win away from going back to the WNBA Finals. They take a commanding to 72 the final. Garello, Rebecca Lobo, Holly Rowan, our entire crew. I'm Ryan Rucco saying thanks for watching and starting point guard in this postseason.
Yvonne Turner joins her. Diana Taurasi and Brittany Griner joined in the front court by Camille Little, who also fouled out in game. Bumake on the perimeter, keeping Griner out of the lane where she's so effective defensively. Gray forced it up short. Parker collects. Tried to put it up and for now, but they whether or not Parker got it off before the shot clock expired to the naked eye, it seemed late. Here's Little, got hit by Parker, plus Little to be an offense. Jump hook. No, how about Beard Sky for the rebound? Another chance for LA. Gray motoring in. Dive. That first foul on LA on the Little bucket as Tarasi misses to a Gumake, but it seemed like it was clearly Parker and her team in that game one. As Griner fades away, can't hit Turner there to collect it and swivel it on a Gumake. But wasn't it Parker who hit Camille Little on that layup? I felt so, yeah. Oh, what a great sign for the Phoenix Mercury. Total of six points. Here's Parker, the quick spin. Follows it up and gets it to go. Second one for essentially four quarters. Here's Turner on the spin, got hooked and banks it in. Plus the foul. Minor no call. Tarasi lays it in. ESPN 2 to Long Beach. And from three this season. And those are the shots Phoenix wants them to take. They're going behind all of the screens on pick and roll. Reiner right to the rim. It feels like a, would you call it a half slate? Half slate, yeah, all like right. a half rack of ribs. <laughs> Great rebound for Lavender. They're so active right now on the offense. Parker looking to work Cannon, a physical defender. Parker backing her down to the left hand. Parker triggering the break. Good touch pass to Williams. Off on a three, another rebound for Parker. Bucket crashing the glass here. They're taking the shots at times that Phoenix wants them to, those mid-range jumpers, but LA, great job getting to the glass. Sims, here away. One quarter in WNBA playoff history. Tarazi bangs it in, plus the foul. Watching Odyssey Sims flex going up. A couple of times in the first quarter, Parker actually should have two and Agumage should have one, but there was an erroneous. After Elena was called for her third foul and they were shooting free throws, she ran over here to the bench like she was going to come out of the game. And Brian said, what are you doing? Just stay it in. He does have that trust in her. He was not taking her out. Meanwhile, Candice gives the rebound. No look from Gray, Agumake slides in. So far, Eliner and they haven't been able to do that effectively so far in the first half. Tarasi being guarded by Beard, who has three fouls. Tarasi in his first half. He had six.